Hello, quick video um, introducing hypothesis testing of correlation. We often have two variables and we want to know how strongly correlated they are and we can use a correlation coefficient to measure this. Um, but is this correlation just by chance? How extreme is it? And we're going to use hypothesis testing for this and our test statistic is going to be our correlation coefficient. Um, Pearson kindly created a table of critical values as well to use for this test and we'll go through and see how to use it now. Okay, hypothesis testing for a correlation. Well we're going to start with our H0, our null hypothesis is that there is no correlation between the variables. So our parameter, our row, our correlation parameter um, is zero and that's what uh, Pearson did to calculate all his values. Um, H1, well that depends on the context. We might be interested in whether there is just a correlation or whether the correlation is positive or negative. So our rows could be not equal to, greater than or less than. Our test statistic is going to be our R, our correlation coefficient. The critical values, well we can get these from Pearson's tables things we need to know in order to use it are the number of data items and whether we're applying a, a one tail or two tail test and the significance level and from that we can create a test line as we've done in the others it could be a high ho line it could be a ho high or it could even be a ho high ho high covering the range of correlation coefficients from minus one to plus one so let's use the example we did, we've did. we been using to date on the importance of scoring goals and winning uh, Football League. And we've got the Premier League 2003-04 data to use. Here's the results we've used before. There we are. Um, number of goals by each team and number of points. So Team A was Arsenal, who won the league, 73 goals, 90 points. Down the bottom, Team T, which I think was Wolves, is 38 goals 33 points okay so what should we do our test with them well h0 has got to be no correlation row equals zero yep so we're looking for an r around zero aren't we the alternate we're just going to go with that there is correlation whether it's positive or negative so it's just row does not equal that means we've got a two-tail test doesn't it well our test statistics going to be our r value and we get that straight out of our calculator having plugged that data in and we get 0 0.8886. Let's apply a significance level of 5% on our two-tail table, two-tail test. And what we need is from the MEI formula book on page 21, we're going to get the um, data here, the critical values. So let's have a look. So first thing we need to know is the number of items of data. Now here we had 20 points, haven't we? We've got 20 teams, 20 points. We now need to know it's a two-tail test as opposed to a one-tail, and our significance level is 5%. So we're just going to work out where these two intersect, the row for 20 and the column for 5% on a two-tail. And we get a critical value of 0 0.4438. Okay, here we go. So now let's look at drawing our line, our number line here, to look at the outcomes. Well, our correlation with... We're graphing our correlation coefficient here. So the range is minus one here at the lowest to plus one at the other end. There are two extremes, aren't they? H naught's in the middle at a um, correlation coefficient of zero. We've just worked out the critical value for a two tail test is um, this four is 0 0.4438 and we can now mark those on the diagram. So here's the positive one, critical value at 0 0.4438. So our critical region to the right is all of this going up to plus one. And then we've got a negative value at the bottom end because if it goes to the other extreme of minus 0 0.443 or beyond, that's going to be our other critical region. So we can put our H1s at either end in this example. Then we need to put our test statistic in. Well, we know R is 0 0.8886, so we put that in. There we go. And we see that that's in the critical region at the right-hand end. So we know what we're going to conclude here. 
So let's write out our numbers. Our test statistic of 0.8886 is greater than our critical value of 0.4438. So we've got significant evidence and we're going to reject H0 and we'd accept H1. So, and then with our context statement, there is enough evidence to suggest that there is correlation between goals scored and points earned in the Premier League. And it's as simple as that. Okay, quick summary at the bottom here. Hypothesis testing of correlation. Our H0 is always that there's no correlation. So rho is zero, and we're looking for an R near zero. H1 is the context. Could be not equal to zero, greater than or less than. Our test statistic R is um, the correlation coefficient, and the critical values are for the Pearson table. And on our outcome line, we're either going to have a high ho high for a two tail test, or a high ho or a ho high for a one tail test, depending on the context. I hope that's of use.